everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all well and I'm happy to see you all back to another video. So guys, today we are going to buy a Rolex Daytona steel and gold with one of my friends who just received the call to pick up his new watch. We will also do a quick unboxing of it afterwards and compare it to my Omega Speedmaster. Before we start, I would like to give a shout out to my channel sponsor Cronext, the specialist for pre-owned luxury watches. They currently have a giveaway raffle going on in which you have the chance to win a Rolex Datejust. Yes, you heard right, a real Rolex Datejust. All you have to do is to subscribe to their newsletter. The link to the website is in the video description. So we just arrived at Dubai Mall and as you can see it is getting a lot more busy now compared to a few months ago. I am wearing my Omega Speedmaster Sapphire Sandwich today. And my buddies have a Rolex two-tone rose gold Wimbledon dial. And a Rolex Submariner. So we are well equipped for a luxury watch purchase. Inside the store waiting for the watch now. And here it is, the Rolex Daytona steel and gold champagne dial. A beautiful piece that is quite hard to get. Besides buying several other watches, my friend had to wait for nearly a year for it. And if you're going to ask me how many other watches he bought before, I'm not 100% sure, but I think at least four to five other steel and gold pieces. Time to try it on the wrist and it looks awesome. It actually seems smaller on the hand yeah. than I thought it would be. A quick shot next to my Omega Speedmaster, two chronographs but also two icons of the watch world. With the new dimensions the Speedy comes pretty close to the Daytona. The shorter lugs are helping a lot to make this watch a lot more wearable. And guys, I often get the question which watch should someone who just started in the world of horology buy and for this I have a very quick and straightforward answer. It is the Omega Speedmaster of course. This watch delivers for around $6000, incredible value for money, has a beautiful finishing, a super precise movement and a great history. And besides all of that you have a good chance to find one of these at the Omega boutiques. The box and accessories we get with the watch. A quick try of the watch on my wrist. The size is perfect for me. Time to pay $19,500 for the Rolex Daytona 2-Tone. And here we are with the watch. As my buddy is going to travel with the watch, we only have a quick unboxing this time. But at least you get a good impression of the whole package. The typical green Rolex bag. The white cardboard Rolex box. And in the inside we have the green Rolex watch box. Let us open it. The 
the superlative chronometer seal. The watch manual. The warranty card with the reference 116503. And the watch itself. So this specific version is made out of yellow gold and steel. Or as you would call it in the watch slang, a two-tone Rolex. Inside the clasp we have the easy extension so you can quickly extend the bracelet by 5 mm. Let's give it a good wind. And with the top pusher you can start and stop the chronograph function. Before using the pushers you have to unscrew them of course. And with the lower pusher you can reset the chronograph. Very easy to use and having those screw down pushers will prevent you from using the pushers under wrong circumstances. I also like the design as it makes them appear more tough and sporty. A last wrist shot. And with that we are at the end of the video guys. So definitely check out the Rolex raffle powered by Chronext for which you can find a link in the video description. All you have to do is to subscribe to their newsletter. Thank you for watching, stay healthy and bye bye.